everyone, my name is Sean the Barnes Gamer, and welcome, yes, I know, horrible name, I don't know why I'm just not realizing that, but anyway, sorry if it's lagging, I just turned on my computer, and now a bunch of startup apps are starting up, anyway, so, um, yeah, <laughs> I just came back from the store, and because I have literally no ideas for this channel anymore, <gasps> look what I got, wow, and if you don't know the story already, uh, which I don't know you if you would because I don't know if I told the story. But my computer is, I mean, my keyboard is just completely all types of broken and bonkers. Uh, so yeah, I decided to get a new one. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox it because why not? <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's unplug our current keyboard. Which as you can see, very sloppy and bad. And you can see there's, there's actually like stuff in the crevices of them, which is making it bad. So let's go ahead and get this unplugged. I love Come on, Morty. 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 I don't have any time for this. I need to figure out which word is Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick. You don't think you just, you just wait a little. Shut up, Morty! Anyway. So. Yes, I am in love with Morty. I'm pretty much obsessed. I don't have an addiction, what are you talking about? <laughs> You'll never take it away! Anyway, um, so... I actually kind of have to clean up a little bit. I'm just gonna wipe this down, which I probably shouldn't do, considering I'm just I'm about to put a brand new computer or keyboard on there. I don't know why I keep wanting to say computer. Brand new keyboard on there. Wait, no, it's fine. I'll just. I'm gonna use this shirt to dry it off. And yes, it was a clean shirt, and now it's not. Deal with it. It's fine. Sure didn't really fit anyway. Nailed it. No, I didn't. Anyway. So, it's a pretty thick box. The thickest box keyboard thingamabob that there was there. Now, if we open it up, which I have already done, that's why there's a knife over there, if you can see it. Uh, but yeah, so if we open the box, we have the keyboard. Wow, so unexpected of me. I'm flabbergasted. Now, this is a wireless keyboard, and it's actually pretty big. Let's just see if it'll fit. Yeah, <laughs> and so, ooh, that is a nice glossy touch. Okay, made a weird noise. Ooh, the back of it looks so nice as well. And then it just goes to the front, which is all black. Look at that glossy overtone. I'm probably not using any of these words correctly, correctly at all. Okay, that. Okay, that looks nice. That that, that looks that looks glossy. Look at that. Now that I put the protection, this uh protection stick in the disc off of it. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That looks cool. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Look at that. Okay, that's nice. And so there's a thing that I'm supposed to pull here. Let me just... Okay, so I pulled the pin out. Now, it is just wearing to me that I don't think it comes with batteries. It comes with batteries! What a great product! This is not sponsored in any way. Uh, okay, so we're going to turn, we're going to flip these up. And see how well it works. Okay, let's move this pin down here. Okay. Okay, first, right off the bat, if you can see, holy crap, does it completely mess up what my uh, <laughs> setup looked like. Okay, and now you guys probably don't know this, uh, and I don't know why you guys would know this, but I am not a big fan of armrests for keyboards and 
mouses and like mouse pads and keyboards and all that kind of stuff. I'm not a big fan for those. Also, if it looks all weird, because I've got to turn on my lamp. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and it comes with instructions in case some idiot didn't know how to plug in a keyboard. It's simple. You plug the thing that looks plug inable into your computer, and bam, it works. So, all right. Now let's just remove this thing up. Okay, that looks pretty nice as well. Okay, and it's on right out of the box. Wow, that does not feel good at all. <laughs> if I if I have to make, because this is like a rubber type thing, and it makes my hands feel weird. Uh, so I'm just gonna move the curved mouse that I'm using over here, and uh, it's not plugged in obviously, but uh, it does come with batteries. Obviously, it just uses one AA battery. Mm, great. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. Immediately, it feels very nice, very smooth. It doesn't look like anything is attached to it. It feels like it's just sliding all around the place. Like, if I can even capture that. And you can see it's like sliding all over the place. Which I like, because I like the smoothness of that. And it makes it really easy, especially if you're playing games, which I will probably be doing. It's a pretty big mouse, especially for my hand. Hold on, that shake. Yeah, it's a pretty big uh, mouse, especially for my hands. Um, but even in general, I feel like it is a big mouse on there. Um, okay, and then, comes with this little thing that has the USB inside of it. Now, I'm just going to unplug the other mouse that I was using. And actually, my other mouse is actually a Logitech uh, mouse that comes with a keyboard, but I lost the keyboard for it, and yeah, it's this mouse, which I'm not going to be using anymore. Uh, because yeah, so you can just screw off. And this is the thing for it, but now I know it's the real one because it doesn't have any red. Oh, wait, no. Because, yeah, because the original one that I was using was red, this one is orange. So, yeah, we're just going to take that quickly over there. What, what I do is I'll have a uh, mouse for my bed for when I'm just browsing the web on my bed. Um, and then, okay, immediately it doesn't feel really good. But that's because uh, what this thing has, this thing has a DPI feature, and I don't know what it stands for. Uh, but basically, what DPI is, is it changes the way that your mouse works, if I'm uh, thinking of this correctly. It changes uh, the speed of your mouse in a sort of sense. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to this, but I, I'm already having not a big problem getting used to this. It is a bit slidey, and it is a bit sensitive, which is going to take... A long time to get used to, and the click is very, very light. Uh, the click is very light. Um, I'm not sure how responsive the mouse wheel is, but uh, but uh, I'm just gonna go onto the internet and test that right now. It's going to slow down the recording software, so if it starts, if the recording starts lagging, just bear with me here. It's all part of the test. And so uh, the keyboard actually works with it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I probably should have gone with the other keyboard. Because this armrest is totally going to mess me up. Because I just don't like it. Like, if you if you can look, if you can see my hands, I'm not sure if you can. Uh, but, like, it's, it's also a very big keyboard for me. So, like, as you can see, here's my hands and all the buttons. It just, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. It's going to take a long time to actually get used to this. Well, let's just go over to YouTube. Oh my, whoa, okay, yeah. I don't think I can use this. I don't. Oh, God, no, I hate it so much. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, my God, and, like, the mouse looks completely different in the box than it does here. I mean, it looks better than this, obviously. This looks like a simple, plain piece of crap. This looks pretty good in, like, professional, kind of, until you look at this part, but, you know, we'll get past that. So, uh, the mouse scroll feature. I can't really show you it. I mean, I guess I can. Uh, okay, so, uh, the mouse scrolling, the mouse scrolling feature is okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and look. Okay, okay, good. Because with this mouse, sometimes when you click on it, you have to click a little harder. You have to click really hard just to get it to actually function. But this one is very light click of a mouse wheel. The click for this mouse wheel, mouse wheel is a bit tougher. 
and a bit rougher, but I mean, I can get past that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I, I mean, the keyboard is, it's gonna have, I'm gonna have to take a very long time getting used to, and people, and when I'm playing multiplayer games, people are gonna think I'm a horrible gamer. And it's, it's mainly because of this arm right here, but also because the keyboard is really squished down and compacted and compressed. Uh, all because they had to, to add this uh, thing here. And it just does not feel right at all. I really, I just want to like, what it, makes me, what it makes me want to do is just smash it like this. Like that's what it feels like it's meant for, just like right off the bat. It is a sturdy build, I mean, it's not breaking at all. And it's just... The mouse I can get used to very quickly. Like the mouse I can get used to like maybe within a day. It doesn't normally happen. Normally it takes me like a few days. Um but with this I actually might be able to get used to it today, which is very nice. Uh it has a very nice uh smooth feel to it, which not a lot of people are gonna like. Uh I don't I feel like uh not a lot of people are gonna be a big fan of that. Uh but I personally am and also if you're my hands look so weird. My hands are like so weird and small. I don't like my hands. They're weird and small. They look fine to me, but whenever I look at them on camera, they're always weird. Uh, but per me personally, me being like a, a big PC gamer, which I might not, I'm actually thinking about turning over a new leaf to going a little bit more to consoles because my PC sucks a lot. And most of the games I've been wanting to get, I've been trying out either that or I actually bought them and they just don't work for PC anymore. I don't know if it's because Windows 10, if it's because it's Windows 10, or if it's just because it's just broken for the PC for some people. But uh, it's, been, it's definitely made me want to play uh, Far Cry on my PS4 more than any other game that I have on my PC. So I mean, great job, Windows. You made me stop. Be you made me a little less into a PC gamer. Thank you a lot for that. Uh, <laughs> Because I feel like uh, I actually kind of want to go into console gaming now because I know that everything will work for a uh, console and not for a PC, which is really weird and it really sucks because I still feel like PC games are better, and especially with aiming for Far Cry and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot easier aiming with a freaking mouse instead of a stupid freaking <sighs> controller. But, I mean, I... I mm. I'm definitely playing a lot more Far Cry. I feel like my aim is getting a little bit better. Um, and I don't know. Maybe that's just how I'm, what I'm going to be like now. Anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, then punch that like button, slap the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Now I know what you're wondering. Okay, so now what are you going to put in the thing that you always put after you say see ya? You always have something to say, and for today, you guys are probably asking yourselves, why didn't he say what he would rate this? If he would rate it a good, a yes, should I buy it? Personally, I mean, I guess, I don't know. It really depends on the type of person you are. If you like an armrest on your PC, definitely go for it, because it does feel like it would definitely rest your arms. However, it's more resting this part of my hand and not actually my arms. It's... It's very bad for a normal gamer, or for like a normal person that just wants to play a bunch of PC games like on Steam or something like that. I'd probably not go for this, because, I don't know, I might start getting into it, because what it does is it's kind of like roundish, so it kind of like comforts my wrist right here, and just kind of like rolls onto there, but it doesn't do it right. It doesn't do it very right, but it does feel a little natural, not by much. It makes me really have to spread my fingers as well. So, should I, should you get it? I don't know, it just kind of depends on you. Play a little box and see if it's what you want. Compare it to this video as well. See what it's like. I don't know. It is very responsive, so I gotta give it that. It, may, it, it feels a little less responsive than I'm probably making it up to be. But, you know, yeah. Bye.